I'm Leslie Meredith from Breakbulk Events and Media, and I'm here today with the head of Intel's Nigeria. Would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, good day all of you. My name is Sonny Ijere. I work for Intel's Nigeria Limited. Uh, we have our head office in One in Nigeria, River State. Thank you. Now, I understand that this is your first time at Breakbulk Europe, but you've already seen a lot of familiar faces. Uh, exactly. This is our first time in Breakbulk Europe. Uh, we made this plan to be here because uh, we got information that we have a lot of our clients here. And truly on arrival, we have gone around and we've seen that a lot of the clients that we have businesses with and those that we're supposed to have businesses with, they are all here. For us, this is the place to be. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about, um, first of all, what your company specializes in? Uh, we are terminal operators in Nigeria. We, are, we run the operations of uh, four different uh, terminals in Nigeria. The One Free Zone, then the, uh, Lagos Free Zone, the, the Lagos Free Zone, then the Calabar, and the Wari Free Zone and we provide logistics services to the oil and gas industries in Nigeria. Um, I wouldn't say we are the only one, but we are the giant in this business, and uh, we are good at it with uh, over three decades of experience that we're carrying. Tell us a little bit about um, the environment um, in West Africa for people doing business there. We've, we've had a little, you know, um, some concerns over the last year, but I understand that that has really settled down and, and tell us what it's like there on the ground. Uh, yes, a uh, couple of years ago there was this uh, issue of uh, you know piracy, kidnapping and all what not. Uh, but good thing is um, we have been in business over three decades and all the period these things were happening it did not affect our business one bit because we knew what to do with experience we were able to achieve and we, we, it made us to devise a lot of other new methods of handling issues in the region. You know, when you have uh, issues that are, you know, uh, disturbing your business, you have to find ways of going around those issues. We, we brought in a, a lot of a security intervention and with that, a lot of people are doing business without having fears any longer. Even the passage of uh, vessels along the channels uh, the, into the open sea, we, in conjunction with the Nigerian government, that they provided us with uh, the uh, combined tax force and they provided us with uh, security escort operations. So we escort the vessels in and out of uh, the terminals where we operate. And this has brought back confidence to a lot of people. Yes, the, the news can be bloated somehow. If you're not in Nigeria and you hear of the things happening there, you will think everybody in Nigeria is dead. But it's not so. If you're in Nigeria, you will be thinking, is it the same Nigeria I live in that these reports are coming out? But truly, yes, there are issues, but not as much as the news is uh, bloating them. And today, situation is calm again. We did not stop business operations for once throughout the period of this uh, you know, crisis. It's good. People should come in and do business in Nigeria. It's quite safe. Well, that is good to know, and I think that you really speak to the benefits of working with an established company such as yourself that's very familiar with the area. Tell us a little bit about the, I think, both onshore and offshore gas and oil market and what you see going on there. Uh, well, yeah, because of a few disturbances and the period of this last uh, disturbance we were talking about, uh, some of the locals were disturbing some of the oil producing companies that have uh, assets on the onshore and uh, it led to you know pushing further into the offshore and deeper offshore and technology has to move with this as well so a lot of companies are doing businesses when they feel more relaxed going offshore to do their businesses and uh, it has also given an opportunity to a uh, lot of Nigerian companies to, and, and in conjunction with the Nigerian uh, local content policy such that you have what we call the marginal field operators and the independent operators in Nigeria who are currently buying off 
the, uh, the some of the fields from the uh, from the uh, IOCs and they are operating on these fields. So it's a double-edged sword. On one hand, they are running away from the uh, marginal fields and from those on the onshore locations. And on the other hand, the Nigerian companies are waxing strong, taking up these new fields and rising up to the challenges. And a lot of them are doing fine as we speak today. They are doing good. That's excellent news. Now, as we look forward, how do you see um, your market, the Project Cargo coming in, new jobs in the pipeline, what would you, what do you predict in the next couple of years? How will West Africa um, fare? Well, West Africa in general and Nigeria in particular, there's going to be a lot more in the field of the uh, Project Cargos coming in. Uh, for instance, the Nigerian government gave a directive that open air flaring should be stopped in Nigeria. And with this, a lot of companies that are, you know, producing oil in Nigeria are looking into it seriously, and they are eliminating the flare. So a lot of gas gathering projects are online, and these gas gathering projects require a lot of pipelines and a lot of other uh, equipment and machinery. So this is giving rise to a lot of project cargoes coming into Nigeria. And the best place for you to handle these project cargoes in oil and gas is none other than on uh, Intel's terminals because uh, Intel's with our uh, uh, 30 years of uh, experience in the field, we have uh, attained over 10 million man hours without LTI with uh, most of our companies and they are celebrated and we have all this uh, uh, in our uh, Hall of Fame to show for it. And, you know, we have uh, uh, the oil and gas free zone as designated by government. And if it is so, why don't we do the oil and gas business in the oil and gas free zone? And a lot of these project cargoes are coming in. And we have handled over 630 tons of, heavy, of uh, weight in Oney and a lot more. We have a lot of uh, modular vessel vehicles like uh, the uh, modules that we use in rolling this to try and move them from discharge to a point of storage. And we are good in this field and that's what we are out there for. So we advise people to route all their project cargoes through Intel's terminals. Thank Excellent. you. Excellent. Thank you. Well, we certainly hope that you have a great show and that we will see you year after year from now on, right? Definitely. Uh, from this uh, maiden edition of ours, we're going to make it a continuous process. And to mention, too, safety is our watchword. Safety, security, we don't joke with them. They are our selling points. And they say seeing is believing. If you come to Orne and see what is happening there, you'll agree that it is the place to be in Africa and in West Africa in particular because we can serve as a hub to distribute to all the sub-Saharan countries in West Africa and East Africa. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good to meet you. Pleasure. Thank you too. Thank you.